Hi guys, it's GT here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete the boss fight at the end of the Forbidden Legend quest. This is the part where you're fighting against the three brothers who you took the amulet fragments from. Now I know a lot of people do have trouble with this fight, it is a very very tricky fight if you're not sure how to approach it. I'm going to show you a really really useful technique in order to complete this fight a lot easier than you would do otherwise. So just before we get into it guys, do make sure that you've got a bow and arrows. Okay, now we're all sorted, let's get going. So the first thing we do guys is just walk up to these pedestals here and just activate each one of them to put the parts of the amulet on each one. So as you can see guys, the first brother is ready to fight and he's got his drag of thralls here. What you're going to want to do is just go and jump behind this point here. Now you are crouched down behind here guys, it is much easier to kill the brother. If he can't see you, if you're hiding too well, you might need to just jump about a bit so he can see you, get him a bit closer to you. Like that. As you can see, I am using a crossbow, a bow or a crossbow is fine, any long range weapon really. Now he's spotted where we are. But as you can see, it makes it loads, loads easier to kill him from here. If you can stay hidden, that is a bonus. And one thing I did mention at the start, guys, is it is very useful if you make sure you bring some health potions. As, like you can see, I am taking quite a lot of damage. So after a while of hiding and taking him out from a distance, it will be much easier to kill him this way. So we have now killed the first brother, if you just crouch back down and you will see that the second brother will now come and fight you. Now this one is very tricky guys, you need to basically hide behind here and you have to be really eagle eyed at this point because you need to look for the guy whose helmet is different to the rest. If I look at these guys here, they are all the same so it is not one of those. It is this one right in front of us here with kind of like the uh, iron looking helmet. So keep hitting him as much as you can. But they do constantly change. Now it's quite useful because when they do change you become hidden again. So it is then easier um, to basically not take damage. When you hit the other guys they do uh, disappear. So if you see like this. They go. So if you do just want to get rid of some. That's the easier way to do it. They do take advantage when they stay still, it is much easier just to keep hitting like I am now. Take advantage of when they are like that. So now our second brother is dead and we will await the third. So this guy is a bit easier, it's just himself. However, he is a mage and will summon things like the Frost Atronach with him. So again, if you do get kind of trapped here, um, it is easier just to use health potions. But the third and final guy is not that difficult. So we have defeated the third brother.
Okay, so after killing the three brothers, their father appears and he makes the Gulda amulet available to you. So go ahead and take that. That is now quest complete. Would you take the amulet? You have completed Forbidden Legend. So just taking a look at the amulet itself, it is obviously worth quite a lot of gold, 1,964. However, it is incredibly useful. It increases your health, magicka and stamina by 30 points. That's for all three of them. I think this is a really, really useful thing to have. Hopefully you enjoyed this video guys and hopefully my technique was useful for you as well. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to like, comment and subscribe.